Hello, my name is Dr. Chris Coker, and this is Christian WebMD. The topic at hand is urinary tract infections. These are very, very common, and one of the most common reasons that people visit the physician in the United States today. Obviously, they're caused by a bacteria in the urinary system, usually the bladder. And when that happens, that's called cystitis. One bacteria called E. coli actually causes about 80% of all infections. When you go to the doctor, one of the things that we do is we want to make sure that nothing more serious is going on. Sure, we analyze the urine for something called nitrites and leukocytes to detect the presence of bacteria and white blood cells, respectively, in the urine. But we also want to make sure that the kidneys themselves are not infected or that there's any more serious intestinal infection going on. If we decide that indeed we simply have a case of cystitis, we'll often treat with antibiotics designed to kill that E. coli. A culture may be done, but at times it may not be necessary for that culture to be done. Antibiotics such as ciprofloxacin, macrodantin can be used. Bactrim is another one that's a sulfa drug that can be used, but more people are allergic to that. It needs to be said, however, this cystitis is accompanied with fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, or just a feeling that something isn't right. Prompt medical attention is required. Please keep in mind that this video is not designed to diagnose or treat any medical condition. If you have questions about cystitis, urinary tract infections, or any other type of disorder, please consult your physician. And thank you for watching Christian WebMD.